and it's Blakely with Everyday Gourmet. So right now I am on a lemon kick. I love lemon everything. So I'm gonna make a homemade lemon curd, which sounds like very hard, but it's actually really not. I'm gonna show you an amazing lemon curd recipe, and then I'm gonna do a little parfait with it. Some fresh blueberries, because I always have blueberries, a little whipped cream, a little good stuff. Which is exactly how to do it. All right, you ready for the easiest lemon curd recipe? So in here, just turn this on like medium high. I have the juice of two lemons. I have two eggs. Now I'm just making enough for two people, so if there's more, you know, double, quadruple, whatever you want to do. Give us a good mix. Break those yolks before it starts heating up. I have a tablespoon of sugar. And then about two tablespoons of butter here. So what we're gonna do. Let this come up to a simmer and it's gonna thicken beautifully. So we're just gonna keep whisking and let this metter, butter melt. <laughs> if I could talk, that'd be great. And let that egg cook. And we're gonna thicken it and we're gonna let it cool. So as soon as this came to, woo, pop it everywhere. As soon as this came to a simmer, it like immediately thickened, like immediately. So what you want to do is test it over a spoon, go like that, it's done. How easy is that? So our lemon curd is cooling, it's almost done. So I'm gonna, in here I'm going to make the whipped cream. So I have some heavy whipping cream, I'm going to do about three quarters of a cup right in here. Do some vanilla extract and I'm going to sweeten it up with some powdered sugar. Because really that, that lemon curd isn't very sweet. It's more tart than sweet, so this is gonna be the nice sweet layer. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of sugar in there. Give it a whirl. All right, whipped cream is done. So I have my lemon curd. By the way, I completely forgot to tell you the step. You wanna make sure you take a plastic wrap and put it directly onto the lemon curd. Because if not, you're gonna get this weird film. So I'm gonna take this off and that prevents that film from happening. Set this aside. And I put this in the fridge and it is completely chilled. So I'm gonna do a little parfait here. I have some lady fingers, or you could use any other kind of cookie you'd like, really. I'm using lady fingers because I have them left over from a recipe I did. Tiramisu, of course. And I like that they're crunchy and delicious. And so, yeah. To add a little bit of our curd here on top. I'm gonna add some blueberries. Just like this. I'm just gonna keep. And I'm gonna do a nice little layer of whipped cream in here. I mean, come on. Like I said, this is just for two. I don't want more than two laying around in my house of this because I have absolutely no self-control when it comes to sweets. I mean, really, like none. All right, gonna put these in here. You could use like Nilla wafers. You could use, um, what else could you use? I don't know, anything you want. Get creative with it. Put those in there. And do the lemon curd. So I'm just using a small little, little guy here. Gotta have keep enough for the other one. So I'm not sharing mine, and that's for sure. Do some more blueberries. And then finish it off with a nice dollop of whipped cream. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. That is delicious. I can't wait to try it. Okay, I just can't handle how cute these are. <gasps> they look so springy and summery and delicious. Gotta get a little bite of everything in there. So there you have my lemon curd and blueberry parfaits. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet with Blakely for my delicious recipes and videos.